and as a little bonus to the notification squad on the run right here that I just did in this video, I got a Chaos 9 amp. So I am going to be sitting in a market on US West. I'm on the US West server. We will call it a relics market. Uh, let's go ahead and hop on in. And the first person to get into this relics market from right now is going to get that Chaos 9 amp absolutely for free. What's going on everyone? Juice Bags here and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2. Part of yesterday's Winterfest update for DD2 was a huge buff to the Dryad Slimes. The uh, Dryad Slimes had their AI improved and then additionally a 50% damage buff. Yeah, so absolutely huge and I am just super stoked to check them out. Now, first things first, we've got to build our slime pits out. Now, we've got this new shard, which, uh, you know, is a converted version of the spider shard for the mercenary. It's now called Augmented Explosions, and it works on the spiders and the slimes. Uh, explosion radius of nether spiders and slimes are 65% bigger. So, although instinctively, I want to test the AI by putting more range... I just don't want to give up the mass destruction, destruction double stack. So I'm going to go with shorter range and check out augmented explosions. Now let's go ahead and gear it out. I could always go with a defense range mod to get a little bit more there, but I'm not sure what I want to use. I mean, it's got to have defense rate on it. That one's got range and rate and then proactive traps. I could try that out. However, just for power's sake, I think the smartest thing to do is going to be to go with two anti-mods. So I got this defense rate, anti-melee, and anti-chaos. Uh, let's go ahead and go with that one. Now, since we've got a chaos 8 or higher defense rate on there, uh, we are going to use the double stack. So let's go with um, destruction, and then let's get mass destruction. And that's just going to give us the power. Now, the problem here is, like I said, I really want to check out the AI on here, and that just does not give them a whole lot of range to play with. But in addition to that, of course, we are going to be using some trees so we can place those slimes down. Uh, we're going to go with that destructive pylon. Uh, I'm throwing it in an oil geyser. Throw it in anything. I'm just putting it in there just to get it out there. And then we're going to use uh, some boost auras. Uh, one of these days, i got to convert my boost aura over since I'm no longer really using it for crowd control. And then we do have flyers on two of the lanes here. And not to dirty up the test any, I'm going to throw sky guards in. So it's a defense that won't hit any ground mobs and is just going to hit the flying mobs. And I'm going with the big boy range on those. So let's go ahead and build it out. we got a ton of DU on this map. We are on Chaos 8 forest biome and uh let's see what we want to do well we can hide our uh tree like right say here and then that gives us a whole lot of room for slime now we've got what 300 plus du per lane so lots of stuff to do but of course we're also going to need to throw in those sky guards so how do we want to do this um i think let's go with like the normal setup that we've been going and we'll do something like this, maybe. We'll get that destructive pylon in there. And then we can get the boost R in there as well. And then that still leaves me room for those two sky guards. I'm going to throw two sky guards on each of these sides. Just so I don't have to think about the flyers. And they're just going to uh, get pelted. Um, yeah. So this is looking pretty sweet. We got five slimes there. We spent 380 DU, which is a ton which means we're going to have to go a little softer on these lanes. But, of course, these lanes are not going to have those uh, those sky guards in. So let's see. Now, you could share. I've got double range on my tree, so I could share a tree. And, but that's not really saving me much. That's saving me 20 DU. So I think I'm just going to give this side its own tree. And then uh, we can probably get these all the way into the spawn. Let's just put them right here. We'll go with uh, we'll go with 
five slimes again. And uh, see if this gives us enough DU to get everything the way we want it. I should have spread these out just a little bit more. Let's see. Let's drop our uh, oil geyser down. And then we'll get those slimes back in around it. And then that boost our... Uh... Now I'm going to do the same thing over here. Uh, like I said, a little bit of waste here uh, as just not using only one tree. But, you know, it's not the end of the world. We'll be all right. I want to basically get a good view of the spawn over here. So let's see. Let's grab our uh, slimes once again. We'll go three of them. Let's put that one down. We'll spread them out a little bit more this time just to guarantee we're able to get our destructive pylon up in there where we want it. Right about, say, there, and then we'll go with a boost star over here as well. I, I really, really hope this is going to be absolutely glorious, and to be honest with you, I think it is. Now, I don't have enough DU left. I've got 250 plus 60. That's 310. I used 380 on that first lane, so I'm going to have to change something. What do I want to change? Well... I mean, I don't have to use two Sky Guards. I could probably get away with using just one. But is that going to be enough? Yeah, that will be enough. Let's do that. Let's get rid of one Sky Guard there. And then we'll only go with one Sky Guard here. If we have any leftovers, I'll uh, throw something else in the mix. But let's see. What do we want to do here? Uh, let's hide our tree uh, right about, say, like that. Let's get these um, let's get these slimes up in here. Oh wow, that reminds me. That's one projectile defense I haven't tested yet in Chaos Age. So we're gonna have to do that next time around. Uh, let's go ahead and get uh, our slimes in. We'll get our destructive pylon in. Maybe. There we go. We'll grab in our boosty boy, and then, yeah, it's not going to leave us a ton of DU. It leaves us 30 DU left. Uh, you know, I mean, what do I want to do with 30? Do I have a frostbite set up? Oh, I don't even have a frostbite in my deck. I've got a hailstorm tower here. Um, What do we want to do, though? Eh, let's just leave it. We don't need to spend all the DU every time. So uh, let's go ahead and check it out and see how this is going to do. Uh, oh yeah, I am looking forward to this. This is one of my favorite things, is there's nothing more glorious than watching a bunch of slimes march on out to put the smash down on any of the bads coming down the lane. Now, like I said, I did want to check the, the new AI reworks to see, you know, exactly how good um, the AI is now. Now, this is not a great map for that, since it's such a straight shot. I uh, really want to check them going around corners and whatnot there. I think uh, Unholy Catacombs would be a great test for that. Uh, but let's just watch these slimes in action. Now, that 50% damage buff is pretty huge, y'all. It's pretty huge. Whoop, that's an oil geyser. Uh, there's my slimes at Tier 1. They are packing some pain. There's no doubt there. And remember, that's AOE, so it's the big burst. It's getting the increased range from having that shard on. And they are just devastating. Looking at the mini-map, I mean, everything is getting slimed on. Um, using those Sky Guards, of course, we don't... I instinctively wanted to put some Flame Burst Towers down, but then I would get a little bit of a dirty test as the Flame Burst would be pounding away at the ground lanes as well. Uh, looking at the piles of mana... Um, Everything got smacked on pretty good. I do want to take a look at these inner lanes as well. So, let's go ahead and dump... Um, what do we want to do? Let's go ahead and dump our mana into our Sky Guards just to ensure that we have no issue uh, with those flying mobs as they come out. The Sky Guard will uh, certainly smack them right down. And then let's keep an eye on these inner lanes for one more wave and uh, see how they're doing. Now, these this lane they should just get smacked on like right as soon as they come out i just love watching the slimes bounce down the lane it's just a really really wonderful wonderful sight there's no doubt about it uh some of these slimes aren't even getting in there they're just you know it's too many it's too much power 
the slimes are uh, very reminiscent of what uh, what the hard mode slimes do to me in Terraria. As um, you know, they just get all over me with the one shots. There's no doubt. But yeah, these things are wrecking. Absolutely wrecking. Um, I mean, what do you do? You got to try the full zoo build at some point, right? Let's see the captain. How's the captain do? Um, getting slimes and spiders would be quite fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The captain was told exactly how things are going to roll around here as the slime is definitely in charge. There is no doubt. So, all right, so it is going pretty darn smooth. Uh, we'll get one more upgrade on the Sky Guard to get it completely maxed here. And then we will jump on forward to wave number five and see how things are going to go. So from here on out throughout, I'm just going to upgrade slimes. Uh, all of the rest of the mana is going into those lovely slimers. Uh, that is for certain. So moving right on to the final wave. And here we go into wave number five. Uh, we got two Slakelions here, so we're going to be able to really see these slimes wreck it right out of the gates. Uh, I went through and just threw some upgrades around on the slimes. Um, I was kind of lazy about collecting the mana, not going to lie. So, you know, there's still mana laying around on the lanes. But let's go ahead and check this out on wave number five. Uh, we got the two Slakelions right out front. How is the smash going to be? Oh my god. Yeah, Slime said nope. We're not having it, Slakelion. So putting the wreck on super fast. So yeah, the new Slimes are doing pretty good. I mean, they've got an amazing cool factor to them. And they've got enough range where you're able to stay out of uh, Spider Gooville here and keep away from that webbiness. Now, additionally, remember the, the slimes are gonna spawn right out of the pit, so for the assassins, just stand on top of the slimes and the assassins will just evaporate as they spawn. Uh, we're gonna sit here and chillax it out until those assassins get here. We actually got a siege roller on another lane. Uh, this will be good to see how the slimes are gonna do against those siege rollers. Here come the assassins. Boom, insta-dead, insta-dead. Oh yeah. The slime is real, no doubt. Now, uh, let's see. Yeah, we're not doing crap to uh, to the siege roller over here, so we're going to have to intervene over there. Uh, we do see Quibs. Quibs is getting wrecked on. I'm going to watch this siege roller a little more. Well, you know, maybe I spec too soon. That uh, increased explosion radius is actually doing all right. It wasn't enough to get him done, and the siege roller was getting right on top of things there. But, oh yeah. They definitely put in some work. Plaguing Hawk, goodbye. Holy crapola. So yeah, man, slimes worth a gander. It's super fun, that's the main thing. They got a huge cool factor. So uh, let's see what kind of hotness we got in the box. Come on, give me that fat egg. Oh, we got a golden ingot as well. Uh, no uh, pet eggs in there, but let's go ahead and see. The one time, at some point, we know there's going to be a 10 out of 10 mod in that bonus chest. Uh, is it going to be today? Well, I mean, not to lose my optimism, but I have checked this stupid bonus chest like a bazillion times and have never gotten it. But, you know, one day, one day. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and get our golden key crafted, and we will head on over and see what's in this little box of hotness up the stair here. Be there. Be there. Nope, not going to be today. But anyway, that will get it for now. That is a look at the new and improved Super Slimy Hotness. And it works pretty darn well here in Chaos 8. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time around. Take it easy.